Rhodes Navy families as their sailors shipped out with the USS Harry S. Truman Carrier Strike Group. They set off into possibly turbulent waters ahead with wars still raging in Israel and Ukraine. Mike Gooding was at Naval Station Norfolk for that big send off. Due to operational safety concerns, the Navy is going to great lengths to not say officially where the Truman is headed. However, since last October when Hamas attacked Israel, the last three carrier strike groups that have deployed from both the east and west coasts have ended up in the Middle East. Oh, I miss you already. And families were there to say goodbye. I know it's a proud day, but a little bit of a sad day too. Yeah, a little Very, bit, yeah. It's both. It's in all, more than 6,500 sailors would ship out for what the Navy described as a regularly scheduled deployment, leading the way the 26-year-old aircraft carrier named after the nation's 33rd president. Pretty excited to go on deployment and hopefully hit some cool ports and see things I've never seen before. And undoubtedly, there will be much hard work in the months ahead. Truman leaders say the crew is ready. We are ready to deploy once again, prepared to provide prompt and sustained combat operations if and when called upon to do so. When we deploy, we never know what's going to be in store for us in the future. As for how long this deployment could take, Fleet Forces Admiral Darrell Cottle in an op-ed piece over the weekend stated it is expected to last seven months. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.